Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here in beautiful Hawaii at the annual Snapdragon Summit to check out all the latest Snapdragon products and innovations. Big thanks to Qualcomm Technologies Inc. for sponsoring this video. You know Qualcomm, they have a ton of different chips and products throughout all kinds of tech. You might actually be watching this video on a phone that has a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip in it right now. I'm really excited. We have an exclusive look at the newest flagship, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform. And this is the chip right here. However, I also have a phone, which is a reference device that has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 inside. So we're gonna be doing some real-time demos with it. Qualcomm has shipped over 2 billion AI devices, which is insane and makes them such a large AI company. With that being said, the entire Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platforms technology core is AI powered. And in this video, we're gonna be focusing on that AI and show off the demos of how AI is going to bring brand new, really cool features to your upcoming phones. Let's get started. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform provides groundbreaking AI integrated across the entire system. This is powered by the most advanced Qualcomm AI engine ever created with new technology cores which make it even more intuitive with Snapdragon Smart Technology. In comparison versus the previous Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 AI engine, you're going to get 4.35 times higher performance and a 60% better performance per watt, which is an insane jump in AI performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is the all new Qualcomm Hexagon architecture. This will bring more hardware acceleration, dedicated power delivery, and updated transformer performance. With Qualcomm Hexagon, you also get the first Int 4 support on Snapdragon, and essentially it's a more efficient way to optimize the neural network with very similar results. So what does that mean? Here is a great example using AI bokeh effect in the background of this video, side by side with Int 8 versus the new Int 4. And you get a very similar performance. It's hard to tell the quality difference in that background blur. However, the difference in power savings and performance is crazy. A 60% power savings and 90% performance increase versus Int 8, which is going to bring a lot of capabilities. You can stack Int 4 on top of each other and just do a lot more in less time since it's that much more efficient. And this is just one example. You're gonna start seeing more and more features take advantage of this efficiency. Okay, onto the really exciting part. We are going to grab our phone, which is a reference device, with that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform inside and put it to the test, run a couple demos. For our first AI demo on the reference device with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, this one really shows the capabilities that Qualcomm can bring to developers and manufacturers. This is going to be on device translating in real time. I'm not connected to the internet on purpose because this is all being done on device. So right now it's listening to system audio, but we're gonna switch that over to the microphone. So now it is picking up what I am saying in real time. And not only that, it is translating it to two different languages at the exact same time. So right now Mandarin Chinese and Spanish as well. And you'll just see how accurate it is up at the top with my English language. So this is just insane. It, it just really blows my mind. I don't speak Mandarin or Spanish, so you're going to have to comment, let me know how well it does, but I can imagine it is very accurate and it's just crazy how it's picking this up in real time and translating it so fast. This on-device AI also works with system audio. So with a video playing up towards the top, I'm just gonna go to AI subtitles. It's listening to system audio and it's going to translate that in real time. And again, in two different languages, that is the video up towards the top. So it really expands the possibilities of what can be translated in real time. And again, this is all on device. I say this demo is a great example of what manufacturers and developers can do with Qualcomm's technologies because it's using Xiaomi's optimized and accelerated transformer network on hexagon processor for real-time on-device translation and transcription.
Our next AI demo is really interesting. I'm excited to hear what you think about it. It is called Cognitive Emotion Search, and it's searching through your photo and video library. And you've seen this before, I'm sure, with standard. You can search for scenes, you can search for objects, sand. We're gonna try the beach here, and it will just pull up your photos and videos related to the beach. Now, this generally will be sorted by timestamp, so date and time it was taken. There's cognitive emotion tagging and searching. So with advanced AI, it will search with, within your videos and in your photo album. It'll find the most exciting and important moments. It'll even tag and rank them for you. So it will show up the ones it thinks is more important up towards the top. So you'll see the results here. They're much different than the standard results. They look for things like smiling, people jumping, waves on the beach potentially, audio from video. So it will jump to different scenes. So an interesting moment from this video and even a second one finding action or just more fun things that will even pull audio off of video and rank it and determine the more exciting parts of that video. And on top of that, there's even more on device happening with the Qualcomm Sensing Hub, which has a new dual AI processor. And in comparison to the previous generation, the Sensing Hub is two times more powerful in AI performance and 50% more memory. And some features you might see with this is face detection, gesture detection, even you'll notice a QR code detection. So for example, you could be able to pull out your phone and it will automatically sense the camera is pointed at a QR code. So you don't even have to open up an application to scan that QR code and go to the link that you need to. So all of this AI that I've shown you is made possible by Qualcomm AI Stack, which allows developers to fully take advantage of all of these AI enhancements and improvements. And at the Snapdragon Summit, the new Qualcomm AI Studio was announced, which is a graphical user interface for developers to make it even easier to tap into Qualcomm's AI stack. So anyways, that is everything for me. I am really excited about the new AI engine on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform. Really excited to see the new features that are going to continue to come out and continue to improve on phones going forward. And of course, expect a lot more content from me on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 when it starts coming out in phones very soon. So be sure to subscribe, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.